Mike Peterkin of Piero Vineyards in Margaret River. Mike, what can you tell us about Margaret River? What's unique about the style and the culture of Margaret River when it comes to wine? I guess in the culture side of things, it's a relaxed lifestyle. We're very close to the beach. It's very Australian and Margaret River is also a top surfing area. And that also helps to regenerate the area because the young people who grow up there might go away to get educated, but they want to come back and go surfing and visit their parents, which is great. Just trying to think how you catch the wave in the, in the you see, what do you do, dump a bit of yeast in the, in the vat in the morning and then jump out to the waves? Well, we used, to have, we used to have trouble getting our grapes picked if, if, the, if the surf was up, because, <laughs> because all of the pickers would go surfing. And, uh, these days we use a lot of international people who aren't so keen on surfing. <laughs> now your winery, uh, your vineyards, I've heard are, uh, I've heard it said that they're better than organic. What, what did you mean by that? Oh, that's really just a light-hearted uh, uh, view that uh, we use a lot of traditional methods and uh, we combine them with some organic methods, uh, but we don't like to be strictly bound by the organic code because we find that's a little bit restrictive when it comes to innovation and new practices. Now, it has been also said that you and Lewin Estate have dominated Chardonnay, Australian Chardonnay, for years. Uh, how, do you, how do you interpret that? Is that the case and, and why? I think why? That that's something that just evolved because uh, we were two of the earliest Chardonnay producers in Margaret River. In the, in the very early days, uh, uh, people wouldn't grow Chardonnay because it's actually quite difficult to grow uh, because of the spring winds. It gets damaged. It's an early bud burst variety. But for some reason I got really interested in Chardonnay and I persevered as did Lewin and uh, we've both evolved slightly different styles but they're both uh, well recognised now as you know two of the top Chardonnays in Australia. Now you also have a very interesting neighbour, Vanya Pollen, Pollen, who makes beautiful highly regarded wines. How are your styles similar or how are your philosophies different? Well my first wine making job in Marga River was actually making the wine for the colours. So, uh, um, I help set up uh, a lot of their uh, winemaking practices and I work with Di Cullen, who's uh, Vanya's mother. And uh, then when Di, uh, I trained her for a couple of years, uh, she then took over the reins and I think it was in 1989 she then handed it over to Vanya. And Van's uh, wines are, uh, she is certainly well renowned for all of her wines, but probably more renowned for red wine and uh, I'm probably more renowned for making white wine. So if you were a wine reviewer, what would be your tips to enjoy your wine? Say your top three tips. Well, I think it's just a matter of enjoying life. And, uh, you know, wine's meant to go with good company, good food. And it's really, uh, it's just one of the pleasures of life. I think that, that we shouldn't be too serious about wine and we shouldn't be too serious about food. If you look at the great joys of life, it's really sitting down for dinner or lunch with good friends and having good company. And that's probably the most important thing. And I understand one of your joys in life is a little little movement called Tai Chi. Can you yeah. show us some of your moves? Yes, I can show you a little bit of Tai Chi. Coming towards you. Thank you very much, Deborah. Very nice to meet you. We're looking forward to have a bit of a glass of your wine later. Yeah.